So in today's video, I'll be discussing the top 5 power forward prospects for the New York Knicks in the 2021 NBA Draft. And since the Knicks have picks 19, 21, 32, and 58 in this year's draft, they could definitely look into selecting a power forward with at least one of them. And before I get into the video, if you guys haven't already, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel, and also hit that notification bell button not to miss out on more awesome New York Knicks content like this. And now with that all out of the way, let's get into the video. So the first power forward prospect for the New York Knicks in this year's draft would be Isaiah Jackson. So last season for Kentucky, Isaiah Jackson averaged about 8.5 points, 7 rebounds, 1 steal, and about 3 blocks per game on shooting an efficient 54% from the field and 70% from the free throw line. And at 6'10", Isaiah Jackson could play the power forward and center positions. But at 19 years old, Jackson will definitely need a few more years of development before becoming a legitimate NBA big man. And with his incredible work ethic and the Kentucky connection, the New York Knicks definitely want Isaiah Jackson with one of their first round picks. But it currently is unlikely that Isaiah Jackson will fall to picks 19 or 21. But New York reportedly would not trade up to get Isaiah Jackson. But if he falls to them at pick number 19, they will definitely look into selecting him. And a team that has significant interest in Isaiah Jackson are the Oklahoma City Thunder with the 16th pick. So now with that all out of the way, let's get into power forward prospect number two. So the second power forward prospect for the New York Knicks in this year's draft would be Greg Brown III. So last season for Texas, Greg Brown III averaged about 9.6 rebounds, one steal and about one block per game. And he shot about 33% from three point range, 42% from the field and 71% from the free throw line. And at six foot nine, Greg Brown could play the small forward Forward and power forward positions and he is very versatile athletic and also a solid defender and he could definitely use some improvement on his shooting consistency and at 19 years old greg brown could already contribute on the defensive end of the court but he would need to spend some time in the g league to be able to develop his three-point jumper and he would definitely be a second round pick from 32 or 58 so now with that all being said let's hop into prospect number three so the third power forward prospect for the new york knicks in this year's draft would be Jeremiah Robinson Earl. So last season for Villanova, Jeremiah Robinson Earl averaged about 16 points, 9 rebounds, and 1 steal in about a block per game, on shooting about 28% from 3-point range, 50% from the field, and 72% from the free throw line. And at 6'9", Robinson Earl could play the small forward, power forward, and even center positions. And at 20 years old, Robinson Earl could actually contribute to an NBA team right away with his defense, scoring, and rebounding. And with his versatility, he could definitely help out New York on the bench. And he is projected to go in the mid-second round. So with that all being said, now let's hop into draft prospect number 4. So the fourth power forward prospect for the New York Knicks in this year's draft would be JT Thor. So last season for Auburn, JT Thor averaged about 9.5 points, 5 rebounds and 1 steal and also 1.5 blocks per game. And he shot about 30% from 3 point range, 44% from the field and 74% from the free throw line. So he could definitely contribute to an NBA team with this solid defense, but he definitely needs a few years to develop his offensive game. And at 18 years old, he'll definitely need to spend some time in the G League. And at 6 foot 10, he could play the small forward, power forward and center positions. And he is very versatile and athletic, and his work ethic is great as well. And mock drafts project him to go anywhere in the early second round. And he does need to improve on his outside shooting consistency, as well as his low post game. And now with that being said, let's hop into power forward prospect number 5. So the fifth and final power forward prospect for the New York Knicks in this year's draft would be Isaiah Todd. So last season for the G League Ignite, Isaiah Todd averaged about 12 points, 5 rebounds and 1 block per game, on shooting about 36% from 3 point range, 47% from the field and 82% from the free throw line. And at 6 foot 10, Isaiah Todd could play the power forward or center positions, and he could use some development on the defensive end of the court, but overall his offensive game looks pretty smooth at the moment, but at 19 years old he will likely still need at least a year or two to develop in the G League and he is projected to go anywhere from the mid to late second round. And in my opinion, an NBA comparison would go to Chris Boucher. So let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think of these 5 power forward prospects, and let me know which one you would like most. And if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to smash that like button and subscribe if you're new. And it's been KNYT here, and I'm out. Peace.